What's going on guys, in today's video we are going to be rebuilding the center chassis portion of my Curtain Success EXP that I acquired in a trade with my Stampede 4x4. I put a link up here to the whole playlist of the Curtain EXP. It'll kind of explain the storyline and what we're working with on this RC car and the condition that it was in when I first acquired it. And for those of you that don't know, it was pretty rough when I got it, but a lot of it seemed cosmetic. And structurally it is pretty sound, I have found, but uh, there's just a lot of cleaning that needed to be done. Now this is the last part of the video series I already did the front and the rear end I did the rear end right here in part one as you can see it looks really good and it's super clean and then in part two which I just finished actually I did the front end and I'm excited to put all these pieces back together on the chassis when it's all stripped down and cleaned up but just looking at the chassis itself as it sits first of all it's filthy as you can see all that in there the chassis is most definitely straight I've already checked that out I do think that something is going on here with the servo i don't think it's supposed to be crooked so we're gonna see what all that's about and then i also want to retune the center diff i already put 500,000 weight diff fluid in it and i did that because when i first test drove it when i traded it for my stampede it felt really slow it really was an awful driving experience but it did work so that's why i went through with the trade and i investigated it further and i figured out that the center diff had no fluid in it so i put 500,000 weight in and it's better but it's not where I want it to be. So we're gonna be throwing some silicone earplugs in the center diff. So then hopefully we can do some sanding backflips cause it might be able to on success. And this thing can run on 8S. It has a Mama Monster 8S ESC and then a Spectrum 8S motor. I don't have any 4S batteries that I can put together to run in this thing, but we may be able to gear it up on 6S, but we'll see. If you wanna know how I'm rebuilding it and kind of the steps I'm taking, make sure you check out the first part of this video series. I kind of went through what the steps were gonna be and like what products I'm using to clean everything and stuff like that. So let's stop wasting time and start tearing into this chassis. <laughs> All right, so I got everything taken apart to, I think, the most I want to disassemble everything. I'm not really going to mess with all this. I'm going to try to clean it as is and not take it apart too much, mainly because I have the length of the wires coming out of the receiver box pretty perfect, I think. So I don't want to have to dig into that and mess with it because I've actually already taken it apart before. Um, and then another thing to mention is right here, the screw on the bottom of this like little post is stripped so I cannot take it out. I could drill it out but there's no reason to I feel like at this point. I'm not replacing the chassis yet and it is very straight from what I can tell. So yeah there's really no reason for me to take that out right now. But yeah we're gonna start cleaning all these parts. <laughs> All right, so I got every individual piece of hardware cleaned up, and then over here I have all the chassis components, all the plastic stuff I put WD-40 on, I'm just letting it soak in. But while I'm waiting for that WD-40 to soak, I am going to start on the center diff. And of course, we gotta put the earplugs in there. We gotta get it done, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, I actually forgot to mention, I cleaned up all the electronics, I just used the toothbrush right here with some WD-40 sprayed on it, and it worked out pretty good. Um, I ended up putting new shrink wrap on each of the motor connectors because the heat shrink on there was kind of falling apart, and there was some exposed bullet connector on there. And then I also noticed on the motor here for the pinion gear, so if you look very closely on this bottom edge, you can see that it's a little beat up. The teeth aren't really that straight, but it's only that bottom edge. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be fine. Uh, but another thing is that right up here, you can see that there's a little slot for one of those C-clips since this is a Spectrum motor and there's not one. And I do want one, so I'm gonna go ahead and order one. Well, I'm gonna find one first, if I could even find one. And then I'm not sure if this is a stock pinion gear. I'm also gonna look that up. This is a 19 tooth. I'm assuming it might be, but I don't know. We're gonna see. All right, so back to the center diff. <laughs> All 
All right, so the center diff is all put together with the earplug in it, and before, I mean, I could turn it by hand, and it was pretty difficult, but now it takes some force to turn it, so. And now we're just waiting on the WD-40 to dry a little bit more on these plastic bits, but I mean, other than that, we're ready to put the front back together. I'm just gonna flip all these over, so then, yeah, I mean, look how wet that one is still, so. But overall, it's gonna turn out really good, so I'll put you guys back on when these are all ready to put back together. All right, so all these parts are nice and dry. They look really good, super shiny too. The chassis is all nice and clean. And yeah, let's start throwing this thing back together. All right, so the chassis is all done. It looks very, very clean. So much better than what it was. And now we can start putting the two halves together. Quick note about the pinion gear before I forget. I could not find if that was the stock pinion gear. Uh, this one's a 19 tooth. I don't know if that's stock. Comment down below if you have an EXP. What did yours come with? I saw online that some EXPs didn't even come with a pinion gear, so I'm not too sure. And then for the little clip that holds like, in that like safety system, I could not find that clip anywhere, so if you guys even know if I could get a replacement, let me know. But yeah, let's work on putting the, I guess we'll start with the rear, putting that together. Alright guys, so the car itself is 100% done, I think. I do have like two screws where I don't know where they came from, I looked everywhere. Uh, but hey, I did it better than the manufacturer at least, it's called weight reduction. So with that being said, uh, now that the main like chassis kind of portion of the car is done, I'm happy that I was able to figure out some of the things that need to be replaced, like one of the top A-arms for example, that has a little crack in it. But I mean overall, it looks really good, I mean look at the shine on the plastic and the aluminum parts. Just overall it came out really, really clean, and uh, I'm happy that I was able to get this thing looking right. But now that this part of the RC car is all cleaned up, I want to take a little bit more time and clean up the rims and also the body. Uh, for the body I'm just going to use some Windex and paper towels and then for the rims I'm probably just going to use a toothbrush and maybe do one of these. Yeah it seems like it's going to work out decent because I don't want to use any like fluid or like liquid solution on these because of the holes in the rim. I don't want any liquid getting in there so yeah I'm just going to use a toothbrush and knock all the loose stuff off. So I'm not going to bother filming that just because I already explained what I was going to do and I'm pretty sure that this video is long already so I'll put you guys back on when the body and the tires are all cleaned up. Alright guys so I thought that I would be a lot closer to being done with this project. I am not. I just finished doing the tires uh, the rims look really good. They're super clean now. Um, I used a little bit of WD-40 on them just to shine them up a little bit. But when I put the tires on, I wanted to see how effective my center diff mod was with the silicon earplugs. And that's when I found this. As you can see, the wheels turn a different direction, so I put the front diff in backwards. So now I gotta rip the whole front end apart again. I did forget to connect the servo horn, so I did that. And I also centered the servo, and that's working good. The zip tie, these wires right here. I need to clean up the body. And then I also forgot I need to rebuild the rear shocks because I did the front one, so I wanna do the rear. So I'll put you guys back on when all of that is done. I am so excited to tear the front end apart again. Oh my God. All right, so the Creighton is finally all done. It actually didn't take me as long as I thought to do the front diff, but first of all, the body is all nice and clean. Just use some Windex, and that looks really good. And it's going to be hard for me to demonstrate on camera, but I can tell that the silicone in the diff is going to be a lot better than the 500,000 weight fluid. I mean, it's very hard to get it to diff out per se by hand, so I'm excited to see what it's going to act like under some real power. Also the rear shocks are all rebuilt now and I'm glad I did that. I really wish I didn't skip out on it in the first place because I mean it just feels so much better. But I do want to go over some of the parts that I took off of the Creighton. So we got all the old bearings of course I swapped out for all the new ones the Fast Eddy kit and then along with that I also got rid of the steering bell crank bushings and swapped those out for the bearings because they were included with that kit and then I also took off this wire retainer because it used to sit like right here and it would hold the motor wires in but since this RC has an ADAS system 
those wires aren't gonna fit in that little clip. So, and they won't even bend that way. They're really stout. Plus they're kind of perfect how they are. So yeah guys, this thing is ready for some abuse and I'm really excited to get some upgrades on it because it doesn't have any. It only has, of course, the electronics and then it has the steering bearings for the bell crank. Those are upgraded. And then of course the silicone and the diff. That's the only upgrades that I saw and those previous owners, they didn't do anything to this thing. So I definitely want to, uh, I'm gonna be selling my slash here to pay for some of the upgrades. I mean, I really want this thing to be really, really strong. I don't know if it's gonna replace my Creighton 4S yet. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like, share it with the others so I can grow my channel. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video on Trax RC. I'm